Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a inspired look for you. It has been a while since I've done an inspired look. And actually I'm gonna do a Naruto, Naruto inspired look, but I don't know, I feel like there was a lot of Naruto content on my channel this past weeks. So anyways, I'm gonna do this one here. This is by a DJ called Alyssa Kodes. I'll zoom in so you can see what it looks like. So I don't know how well you can see it, but it's basically a white shadow, but in a like a brush stroke form, if that makes sense. They even tell you here how to use it, so you know we're going to try it out. And then you have a, a gemstone underneath. You have a bit of black liner on the waterline. I don't have a black liner, but it's an inspired look. It's not one to one. And then mascara, and then a nude lip. The face itself and the lips are nude, and you have that bit of pop of color. You know, like this dark white on the eyes. I don't know how it's going to work, but I'm excited. So let's go. So they tell you how to use it, and basically you're supposed to put toning spray onto your white shadow, you know, spray it on to make it creamy. Listen, if I do that, I know that the shadow will probably get a hot pan and I will not be able to use the shadow in the way I want it to use. So I have my water here, you know, it's like an old facial mist bottle, you know, I put some water in. I will take my white glove shadow from Nomad, put it into a pan, mix it together and then put it on the lids. Up the out. Let me try it. My battery just gave up on me, so I'm filming on my phone. If the quality is different, you know why. Does this look good? I don't think it does. I'm, I don't know how they make it to look that nice. Like, can you see how beautiful that looks? Maybe the brush is too big, right? Maybe it fanned out too much. I have no idea what this. It's patchy. It does not look nice. I'm just going to use the rest of the half in the pen here. Like I said, it's a very beautiful way to use up your shadow. And if you like this really, well, it's not really a soft look, but you know, it's not this. Maybe, maybe I'll just do it. They even say to use a like a soft brush. This is a soft brush, like this is as soft as one get. I don't know, I, I, you don't really see the brush stroke itself. You don't see the pigmentation that's supposed to be. I mean, it is there, but it's also very patchy. And you can tell that, you know, like there are some some shadow crumbs on my eyes. It's just not that nice. God, this is terrible. I mean, this is a festival look, right, according to the magazine. I've never been to a festival, but maybe people at the festival don't care what they look like. I will not go out like this, because it's just really weird. I'm gonna clean up. Yeah, I would have been surprised if there was actually shadow on my eye, like underneath my eye, because this is a paste. There's nothing, nothing can budge. This is actually, I won't call this a fail. Maybe it will look better with a different shadow, you know what I mean? And that's, I don't, like, I don't even know what shadow, because this white is not a bad formula, right? It's super opaque when you apply it on its own, to the point where I have to go very easy when I apply it, because otherwise it looks like stock white. Hmm, I don't know, not probably impressed with it, but hey, I was able to expand the pan in my shadow. Then I even got some gemstones over here. Which one? I should I take the middle one, I guess. Like I said, I don't have a, a black liner, so I'm just gonna okay. stick it to my finger. Wow. I knew these stickers would come in handy once, see? It actually doesn't look that bad. The shadow does. But the gems don't look that bad. She like the, the gems on the lower lash line. I think it's super pretty. So then I'm going to use Caramella by Colourpop. It is a lipstick, yes, but I use it as a blush. Because I don't like that extreme pink on my lips. Why did you buy it then? I don't know. I just thought it would be cute and it's not. Okay, then for the lips, I'm just going to use a, a cotton lip balm. Because why not? 
So that's it. This is the finished inspired look. I mean, if you look at it from afar, it's not that bad, obviously. But the closer you get, the more you're like, oh, what the hell is that? Was that a choice? Or what happened? Is that an accident? You know what I mean? So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this inspired look. I mean, it looks practically the same, just that hers looks more like an actual brush stroke, and mine just looks like eyeshadow. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I should have used a brush like this, like extremely fluffy, to the point where I cannot control it. Or I should have used a bit of a harder brush, because I feel like, you know, like when, you, when you're painting and you have a bit of a harder brush, you can actually see the strokes. Or maybe I put too much water in. It was just too much of a paste. It's not bad, obviously, but look at it from far. Look at it from far away. It's much better. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you're already. And it's the next one.